fight. I don't want to fight theirs. I want to fight mine. That's what you should be playing yours, separating. This guy's out in the open. I missed a couple shots, but again, the C58 is just insane. It's insane. It's better than the AMAX. So this guy's going to try and engage me, and I just keep bobbing and weaving, slide canceling, moving around. Um, popping back around, I know he's got to come to me. And what do I see him? He's trying to lose his buddy. If you're going to shoot someone, and you know you got the gas behind you, and you got to go to the... Yo, 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 you're watching Day Day's Gameplay, and I'm your host, Day Day, and today we're going to be breaking down a solo duos game. I'm going to be teaching you how to play solo duos. So, I drop in a salt mine, I get a red door, it takes me to farmland, I get a fast stack of cash, and then I go ahead and purchase my loadout and grab a bounty, and that's what leads me to this point right here. All of that was boring, so I went and cut that out. There was no kills during that except for one when I landed. All right, so the guy lands with a helo. I push in here, I was going to go around the backside. Remembering that he has a helo, throw up C4, and I blow it up. I immediately down the guy. Now, he's down, and he just purchased his teammate, and that's immediately what I'm thinking. Either A, he's got self-res, or it's because his teammate's coming back. I don't want to take a gamble of it, so I push I up, and up I take him me. out, and that's all it is for him. The next thing that I want to do is I want to check and see if his teammate is anywhere near me. I hear him lance. I pull out the heartbeat sensor. Uh, one more thing I forgot to mention was I also did get the specialist bonus. I just now remembered that after seeing the video. So I pull out my heartbeat sensor. I can see that he's down below. I'm going to push him. There's no way he has much of anything. Uh, but as I jump down, obviously you can see that I keep getting flagged that uh, someone's no aiming at me. No way, my God. And I push through. Now, I'm not sure how he was aiming at me while I was inside the building. Um, as I'm running off, I hear gunshots. So I turn right back around and come right back to the same area. Uh, I can hear them engaging. See the guy running. There's no point of just constantly just pushing up. So, just pre-aim and take him out. We're using a C58 in this. If you need to know what the loadout is or the setup, I'll be linking that video after this one. Make sure you check it out. Purchase UAV. Uh, skip into this because there's, there's a lot of drawn-out uh, time where it's just, it's just dead space. So, uh, I had a UAV up in the air. I saw there was guys that were near me. Um, so, I come back to this area. I don't really leave this area that much. Uh, just people just keep coming. I'm going to push in there. This is the same team that I killed at the very beginning. He came back, and he bought his teammate back. So I'm looking for him. I can't seem to fight him. I know he's in a heartbeat, so I'm thinking he's on the roof, but I'm not too sure. So I'm going to throw C4 on the truck just in case. Because if I get shots on him and he jumps down and tries to get out of there, I can blow the truck up and get an easy kill. Push him back in here. I can hear him somewhere, oh, and I see him moving right there. So he immediately gets shots on me. First thing you want to do is get out of there, right? That's the first tip. If you can't get the first couple of shots, get out of there. That man's got so much cover, it's not even funny, and I'm just standing on open. So he's got a head glitch that is that is just to die for, right? So I'm not going to fight that fight. I'm going to back up. Like I tell you guys, you want to make sure that you're being engaged with, your, with the way you're playing. Always situational awareness. I'm going to back up and make him come to me. So I get out of there. I start plating up. One thing you need to learn to do is slide cancel while plating. Um, it's it can be very hard if you don't have like a scuff controller or something but playing claw is a way that you can do that um, so just what I thought they were gonna come out and push what this guy should have done is he realized he was being shot he was already in cover he ran inside he shouldn't have challenged from the same position make sure you're not challenging from the same angle because I know where he's at so I down the first guy no need to rush and try and kill him uh, I want to create urgency for the teammate to try and pick him back up so i'm fighting a fight i immediately get shot i get out of there i get replated and i re-engage all right so fast forward and there's a guy who was driving a truck i got my uav up he kills one guy unfortunately so i'm gonna take him out this is an easy kill now i have the uav still up in the air i see the guy is still floating because the arrow lets me know that he's in the air i mark him so this way i can keep track him because i know my uav is going out and i don't want to lose him and I realize he lands over here next to his teammate, which tells me it's time for double kills. First thing I got to do is I got to separate these guys. So I got the gas coming in. I don't want to push him, have myself back against the wall. They got to come to me. I want to create it again, my fight. I want to fight my fight. I don't want to fight theirs. I want to fight mine. That's what you should be playing yours, separating. This guy's out in the open. I missed a couple of shots, but again, the C58 is just insane. It's insane. It's better than the AMAX. So this guy's going to try and engage me, and I just keep bobbing and weaving, slide canceling, moving around. Um, 
popping back around. I know he's got to come to me. And what do I see him? He's trying to lose his buddy. If you're going to shoot someone, and you know you got the gas behind you, and you got to go to them, look, leave the loot, all right? Because it didn't do him, do him any good. It won't do you any good if you're dead and going to the gulag. All right, so over here, I'm going to pause it real quick. Uh, I get a UAV as I go to the hospital. I see that they're over here still down in downtown. Uh, I'm not playing this the way that I should. I do have a self-res, though. Uh, the reason I shouldn't be playing it this way is because I still got a long ways to go before I'm safe, right? So I'm gatekeep somebody, but someone could be gatekeeping me, and you don't want to be doing it that way. So this guy comes back from the... Okay, so the audio in this particular part of the clip got uh, corrupted or something. I don't know what happened, so... I decided just to keep what I already had. Let's break it down the gameplay, and hopefully you're enjoying it this far. And then just re and then just record over um, with this right here. So first and foremost, I want to thank you guys so much for all the support you guys have been showing. Uh, I really can't thank you guys enough. Seriously, y'all guys have been just coming in and into my streams and commenting and talking and interacting, and it's it's just been a blast. So for all you guys who are doing that, I want to thank you very much. Now that uh, all that stuff is out of the way, the real question is, how are you guys enjoying Season 4 of Warzone? Or how much are you are enjoying Warzone right now? I know right now we're facing a big epidemic of hackers. And just for example, last night when I was streaming, I think I streamed for maybe two hours. Uh, and I played a total of five hours last night. And I ran into five hackers last night. 120%. Uh, and I'm just curious, are you guys running into them a lot? It seems to be more out of control than it ever has been, which is very disturbing. I, I love this game. Uh, I've come to enjoy it a lot, and now it just seems that it's unfortunately getting ruined. Um, what are the guns that you guys are also currently using? And then the next big question to ask, what do you guys want to see in Season 5? Me, I'd like to see them bring... Uh, like a whole new mode like maybe a special event mode like they did with halloween i thought that was the coolest thing in the world i don't know what they could do for summer but it would be pretty cool to see for them to bring back a special mode of some sort you know and then obviously a new gun uh, we're, we're definitely expecting that but i'd also like to know what their plans is moving towards because the new call of duty is going to be coming out here in a few months and we still don't know what their plans are with Warzone. So Raven needs to let us know. We need to see a an anti-cheat. And we need to know what's going on with Season 5. or And then also what, uh, what they have planned for the future of Warzone. Yo, if you enjoyed the video, I asked you please hit the like button. It really does help out a lot. Also, check out either the video I just uploaded yesterday or the shorts playlist. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace and love.